Cleopatra, aged just 21, defeated her younger brother in battle to become queen of Egypt. Despite her Greek heritage, she embraced Egyptian traditions. Researchers have been in a heated search for the tomb of the infamous Queen Cleopatra for centuries. And guess what? They have just found it. Not only was her tomb discovered, but secrets of the then civilization were also unveiled. How did archaeologists discover the exact site of the tomb? What clues led them to the tomb? Strap your seatbelts as we embark on a thrilling adventure that will leave us in awe. Cleopatra and Mark Antony's final moments were truly heartbreaking and have become a thing for legends. It all began after their defeat in the Battle of Actium when they sought refuge in Egypt, only to be relentlessly pursued by Octavian's forces. Antony was angry at Cleopatra for her role in their defeat, but eventually they reconciled and found solace in each other in Alexandria. However, Cleopatra soon realized that Octavian would never see her as anything other than an enemy. She knew he would seize her and her children, parading them as trophies of his victory in Rome. Faced with this fate, Cleopatra made a heart-wrenching decision. She sent a message to Antony, informing him that she had taken her own life. Upon receiving this devastating news, Antony was consumed by grief. In despair, he ended his own life by falling upon his sword. Though the version of events presented by classical writers suggests that Cleopatra's physician, Olympos, documented her death without specifying the cause, the story evolved, and soon it became widely accepted that an Egyptian cobra called Asp was involved. Strabo, an early source, claimed to have witnessed Cleopatra's suicide, or was at least present in Alexandria at the time. Writing a century later, Dio likely drew from Olympos' historical account. According to the tale, Cleopatra had an asp brought to her concealed within a basket of figs. She allowed the deadly serpent to bite her, sealing her tragic fate. The date of her death is believed to be either August 10 or 12, 30 BCE. Another theory proposes a more frightening plot. It suggests that Octavian, a powerful figure in the Roman Empire, orchestrated Cleopatra's murder to strengthen his hold on the empire. Others theorize that she may have chosen to die by poisoning herself. Some even suggested that she may have died from suffocation by placing a bag over her heed. Unfortunately, with only fragmented accounts and no concrete evidence, the truth surrounding Cleopatra's death remains unknown. We are left with mere narrations, leaving you to wonder if the full story will ever be unveiled. Adding to the sorrow surrounding Cleopatra's demise is the mystery surrounding her final resting place. Despite the passing of over two millennia, the tomb of Antony and Cleopatra is yet to be discovered, leaving historians and archaeologists intrigued and searching for clues to unravel this mystery. Let's talk about the burial of Cleopatra and Anthony. After their defeat in 30 BC, the Roman leader Octavian permitted Cleopatra and Antony to be buried together. On the other hand, their kids were taken to Rome to be raised as Roman citizens. It's believed that Emperor Augustus agreed to let Cleopatra, a pharaoh, be buried with her lover Antony. They were probably mummified to preserve their bodies. According to the historian Plutarch, Antony and Cleopatra were buried in Cleopatra's mausoleum. Antony, who died by falling on his sword, was then laid to rest in the mausoleum. Two weeks later, Cleopatra died and was buried in the mausoleum. Now, here's where the real mystery begins. People believe that their tomb is somewhere around Alexandria, Egypt. One theory suggests it's in or near a temple called Taposiris Magna, southwest of Alexandria. The Egyptian Antiquities Service backs up this idea. But wait, there's more. Another theory proposes that Cleopatra might have chosen a place called the Royal Necropolis at al kurun Fuda. It's a sacred burial ground on the western side of the Red Sea. That's an interesting twist, isn't it? Of course, there have been other suggestions about where the tomb might be, 
But Alexandria remains the most popular guess. It's like a big puzzle waiting to be solved, but so far, nobody has found their final resting place. You won't believe what happened after Cleopatra and Mark Antony died. Their poor children had such tragic fates. It's heartbreaking. Octavian spared the lives of their three kids and took them to Rome. But here's the really sad part. Octavian made the children walk through the streets of Rome in chains made of gold. Can you imagine? They were paraded around like that, behind a statue of their mom holding a snake called an asp. It must have been so humiliating and painful for them. Octavian decided to give the kids to his sister, Octavia, who used to be married to Mark Antony. In a tragic turn of events, their children all died. First, it was Caesarian, who was the son of Julius Caesar. Octavian, being the wicked man he was, ordered the poor kid to be killed. It's just so cruel and unfair. Then there were Alexander Helios and Cleopatra Cellini. After their parents and their half-brother Caesarian died, they were technically the rulers of Egypt. But they were just kids, you know. Cleopatra sent them away to Thebes to keep them safe during the fights between their parents and Octavian. They were brought back to Alexandria, their hometown when everything settled down. But the heartless ruler Octavian, because of his desire to have control over Egypt, took them to Rome with him. Now Cleopatra Cellini had a bit of a different fate. Her dad, Mark Antony, gave her some kingdoms in Crete and Cyrenaica. But after her parents died, she had to live with her brothers in Octavian's house. When she was just 15 years old, she was married to a man named King Juba II of Numidia. Octavian sent them to rule a place called Mauritania. What efforts have archaeologists made in the discovery of Cleopatra's tomb? For almost two decades, archaeologists have been on a relentless quest to find Cleopatra's mausoleum. Their tireless efforts have recently led to some promising discoveries that offer a glimmer of hope. Archaeologists have employed various methods to aid in their search over the years. These methods include meticulous excavations at numerous sites across Egypt, focusing on the Tapasiris Magna Temple. Interest clues, such as the massive tunnel, have been excavated within these excavations. In addition to traditional excavations, cutting-edge technology has played a pivotal role in the quest for Cleopatra's tomb. Geophysical surveys have been employed to scan the underground landscape, seeking hidden structures or anomalies that might indicate the presence of a tomb. Ground-penetrating radar has also been utilized, enabling archaeologists to penetrate beneath the surface and detect any telltale signs of hidden chambers or structures. Furthermore, satellite imagery has been scrutinized, scouring the Earth's surface for peculiarities or structures that could be linked to Cleopatra's tomb. Yet, the search for Cleopatra's tomb is not solely reliant on modern techniques. Historians have delved deep into ancient texts and documents, painstakingly sifting through historical accounts in a quest for clues that might pinpoint the location of the hidden tomb. Guess what? The findings of archaeologists have paid off as they have made an incredibly exciting and unexpected discovery at Taposiris Magna in Egypt, which birthed the theory floating around that Cleopatra and Mark Antony might be buried in a place called Taposiris Magna. And there's some pretty intriguing evidence to support this idea. Some archaeologists found two mummies in a tomb in Tapos Iris. Initially, these archaeologists faced difficulty identifying the mummies because of the great damage that had happened to them. Still, relentlessly, they took some x-rays of the mummies. And it turns out one was a man and the other was a woman. But here's where it gets even more fascinating. There's a theory that these mummies could have been priests who were important in keeping the pharaohs in power. One of the mummies has a scarab image painted with gold leaf. The scarab symbolizes rebirth, so it's like a clue pointing towards something special. People call this discovery sensational because it shows how significant the Taposiris Magna's necropolis is. Now, let's dive a little into history. Taposiris Magna was a city that was built way back in the 3rd century BC by a pharaoh named Ptolemy II Philadelphus. 
Tapasiris Magna Temple was no ordinary place. It was a sacred haven dedicated to the awe-inspiring god of death and the afterlife, Osiris. It was a true marvel of geometry, stretching an astonishing 1,305 meters in length and standing at a modest 2 meters tall, this tunnel is an absolute marvel of design and engineering. It's been described as a geometric miracle because of its complex architecture. It's a replica of the famous Tunnel of Eupalinos in Greece, a monumental achievement. So, while we can't say for sure just yet, the evidence found at Taposiris Magna certainly adds a touch of optimism to the idea that Cleopatra and Mark Antony might have found their final resting place there. Who knows what other incredible treasures and secrets might be waiting to be uncovered at Taposiris Magna. Let's keep our fingers crossed for more mind-blowing surprises. Dr. Kathleen Martinez, a Dominican lawyer, archaeologist, and diplomat, has devoted her life to uncovering the long-lost tomb of Cleopatra for 14 years. Her efforts have been nothing short of remarkable. It all began in 2004 when Dr. Martinez first set foot in Egypt and had the opportunity to contact Zahi Hawassand, a renowned archaeologist and director of the Supreme Council of Antiquities. As she explored various temples, she had a strong feeling that Taposiris Magna held the key to her quest. This realization sparked her determination to pursue this ancient site. For 14 years, Dr. Martinez and her team tirelessly dug deep into the earth at Taposiris Magna, unearthing a treasure trove of artifacts she believes is connected to Cleopatra herself. One of her team's most incredible discoveries is a secret burial chamber hidden beneath the Egyptian sands for centuries, housing not just one, not two, but ten mummies in 27 tombs belonging to Egyptian nobles. We don't know who these mummies were just yet. It's a puzzle waiting to be solved, but the fact that they found this burial chamber is a big deal. Here's where it gets really interesting. Among these tombs, Martinez stumbled upon some coins with images of Cleopatra. Can you believe it? As if that's not enough, she also found carvings that showed Cleopatra and Mark Antony locked in a loving embrace. But the most astonishing breakthrough came in 2022, when Dr. Martinez's team stumbled upon a vast and astonishing tunnel hidden beneath the Temple of Osiris at Taposiris Magna. This discovery ignited a spark of hope within Dr. Martinez, as she believed this tunnel could hold the key to finally uncovering Cleopatra's lost tomb. The anticipation grew as they delved further into the depths underground. Dr. Martinez encountered skepticism from the archaeological community, as the historical records indicated that Taposiris Magna had no tunnels. However, she refused to be discouraged and spearheaded an excavation project beneath the Taposiris Magna Temple. Her team's astonishing finds, including coins, skeletons, mummies, burial rooms, and tablets bearing the name of the temple, silenced the skeptics and breathed new life into the pursuit of Cleopatra's tomb. Now, here's the thing. While all these findings have caused quite a buzz in the archaeological community, there's still a bit of uncertainty. Some experts are debating whether the temple where Martinez made these discoveries is the exact spot where Cleopatra and Mark Antony were laid to rest, considering that Plutarch, who mentioned that Cleopatra and Antony were buried together, wasn't specific on the location, which makes it a bit puzzling. Things are getting interesting. Brace yourself for another mind-boggling discovery. Dr. Martinez's team recently stumbled upon a statue at Taposiris Magna, and it's no ordinary statue. It's a headless statue of King Ptolemy IV himself. This man ruled over Egypt from 221 to 204 BC, why is this statue such a big deal? Well, it's like a missing puzzle piece in the grand tapestry of history. It gives us a glimpse into the fascinating world of the Ptolemaic dynasty, the rulers who held the reins of power. This is like finding a hidden treasure that unlocks a whole new chapter in the history books. Keep your excitement levels high because this is just the beginning. With each discovery, we get an inch closer to unraveling the mysteries of the past. 
Who knows what other secrets lie buried beneath those ancient sands? Recently, something amazing has been unearthed by archaeologists near Alexandria, Egypt. They stumbled upon a hidden tunnel beneath the temple of Taposiris Magna. As they dug deeper, they discovered a jaw-dropping array of sanctuaries. And that's not all. There was a sacred lake, too. Over 1,500 objects were found at this remarkable site. Busts, statues, and even golden pieces adorned the area. Now, here comes the juicy part. At the very spot where priests would have made offerings to the gods, they discovered something extraordinary. 200 coins with none other than Cleopatra's name and her beautiful face on them, the same as the ones discovered by Dr. Martinez at this same temple site. These coins were probably used as offerings, connecting Cleopatra directly to the temple. Can you feel the anticipation building? Can you see how all the puzzle pieces are coming together? But what does all this mean? Well, it suggests that Cleopatra had a significant role in the temple's history. This incredible discovery and the hidden tunnel make it even more intriguing to think that her final resting place might just be near the temple of Osiris in the ancient city of Taposiris Magna. Isn't it thrilling? The connection between Cleopatra and this temple is becoming clearer and more fascinating with each new finding. Who knows what other secrets might be waiting to be unveiled? Another fascinating theory surrounding Cleopatra's tomb suggests that she entrusted her body to the temple priests. Dr. Martinez believes Cleopatra could have been laid to rest in the Temple of Osiris, located in the ancient city of Taposiris Magna. This place is on Egypt's northern coast, where the Nile River meets the Mediterranean. Martinez thinks Cleopatra chose this temple because it symbolized her connection to the goddess Isis, whom she considered to be the human form. And just so you know, Cleopatra's lover Antony was thought to be the embodiment of the god Osiris Isis' husband. It's like a real-life myth. Some experts even believe her tomb might be hidden beneath the water. Such a mystery. Will the temple reveal its secrets? Will we find Cleopatra's tomb underwater? What could be hindering the discovery of the tomb? Can artifacts be trusted as evidence in the search for Cleopatra's tomb? Well, they certainly have their pros and cons. Let's dive into the limitations of using artifacts in this exciting quest. Firstly, we have the issue of missing artifacts. Some artifacts may have deteriorated over time, been damaged during excavation, or simply vanished, leaving us with gaps in the evidence. It's difficult to solve a puzzle when some of the pieces are missing. Another challenge is that many artifacts are one of a kind. This uniqueness makes it difficult for archaeologists to analyze and authenticate them. It's like trying to decipher a secret code without any reference points. Dating artifacts accurately is no walk in the park either. Archaeological evidence often poses a tricky puzzle of time, making it hard to determine the context and significance of the artifact, which is like trying to put together a historical timeline with missing dates. To add to the complexity, most artifacts perish over time. Many archaeological sites remain unexcavated, meaning we only have a fraction of the evidence that's out there. Lastly, archaeological information can be prone to inaccuracy. Conclusions and reconstructions are based on limited evidence, making tracing artifacts back to their original context challenging. Despite these limitations, artifacts can still offer valuable insights into the hunt for Cleopatra's tomb. However, archaeologists must be aware of these limitations and approach the evidence cautiously and open-mindedly. Now let's explore some natural factors that can further complicate the reliability of artifacts as evidence. Artifacts could weather when they are exposed to certain elements over time. Chemical reactions and biological processes can also take their toll causing deterioration. Then there's the issue of potting. Burying artifacts in the ground may sound like a good idea, but it can damage and degrade them over time. How artifacts are excavated matters too. Precious artifacts can be damaged or contaminated if not handled with care, obscuring their true story. It's like mishandling fragile artifacts and accidentally erasing their secrets. Let's not forget about perishability. 
organic materials like wood, leather, and textiles are highly vulnerable to decay. They simply don't survive the test of time. Lastly, we have incomplete evidence. Most archaeological sites remain untouched, and even the ones that have been excavated might not have revealed all the evidence that once existed. It's like solving a puzzle with only a few scattered pieces. These natural factors can cause a twist in the reliability of artifacts as evidence. Archaeologists must carefully consider the context of artifact discoveries and rely on multiple lines of evidence to support their conclusions. It's like piecing together a grand historical puzzle where every clue counts. So, as we embark on the thrilling quest for Cleopatra's tomb, let's approach artifacts with excitement and anticipation. While they may have their limitations, they still hold the potential to unlock the secrets of the past. It's sad that Cleopatra, once so powerful and influential, is now lost in history. We can only hope that her tomb will be discovered one day, and we'll finally know where she rests. With all the progress made by archaeologists, do you think the discovery of Cleopatra's tomb is close? Or do you think it may have decayed due to many unfavorable conditions? What if she didn't want her tome to be found and so requested to be buried in a place no one can access? What are your thoughts?